Okay, so I've got a new scene here in which I'm going to show you how to work with uh, the objects menu, uh, which is the fourth one in. So I've got a couple characters. All I've got so far is um, this principal is going to walk onto the frame and pick something up. So uh, what we're going to do is I'm going to uh, pick the calculator. Uh, and what I prefer to do with this uh, is just to figure out where I should place the calculator. Uh, I'm going to have him pick it up first and then go back to the first frame and put it in his hand. Uh, so I'm going to put the uh, plus sign on here and uh, I'm going to click on the principal. I'm going to have him perform an action, uh, pick up prop. So he's going to bend down and pick that up. And the prop that I'm going to put in his hand is the calculator. So I'm going to grab the calculator and put it on him. And uh, there's an important thing that shows up here. It says, we found that the same character exists on other scenes. Do you want to add the prop on all of them? Now, I'm going to uh, make the mistake here and say, yes, add to all. But what we actually want to do is know this one only. But I'm doing this so that I can show you how to remove the prop. So what happens is I would only want him to have the calculator in this scene, not the previous one, but when I hit add to all, you'll see that he has it here, but he also has it uh, when I preview, he actually walks up with it, which is not what I want, and then picks it up for some reason. So in scene one, I'm going to click on him, and there's a little handheld menu that uh, pops up now. So I'm gonna click on remove prop uh, so that it takes it out of his hand, and then in the second frame he'll have it. So uh, take a look at where the calculator is in the second frame. So kind of down here. Uh, so in the first frame I'm going to click on the calculator and move it down. Uh, and then it's also at a bit of an angle so I'm going to rotate it as well and flip the calculator so that I can kind of match where it is you can kind of click back and forth until you think that you've got it right. So we'll see how this looks. So we've got a calculator here. Principal's going to come. And I mean, it changes sizes a little bit. It's not perfect, but then he picks it up. Uh, next thing that uh, we're going to do, uh, we're going to add a scene on here. And I am going to have him uh, in the actions point prop at. So this is where he will be accusing, um, you know, we, we could assume this girl of cheating on something with this calculator. Who knows? Could be anything. Uh, but that is another uh, way that we can uh, add that prop in. Uh, so that was by action um, and then point prop at. Uh, now I'm going to have him drop the prop just to show you what that looks like. Actions. Uh, drop prop and then he is going to uh, walk away. So he no longer has, uh, oh I'm going to have to use the handheld remove prop at this point and then uh, using this we're going to have, maybe I'll give him an angry emotion uh, and then I will have him walk away. But it doesn't look like that's going to carry forward. Uh, we'll see if he still remains angry. So he's going to pick the prop up, point the prop, throw the prop down. Now it's going to disappear here, so I'm going to have to put that back in. Uh, so again, like we did before, I'll have to try and uh, go back and forth and figure out, okay, now where was that calculator? Uh, so I'm going to leave it here. Uh, and then I had to flip the calculator and it was a little bit smaller so I'll try and match the size. Okay, and um, I think I moved that a little too far. Okay, so there we go. Uh, and then he's going to walk off of the frame. Uh, now other things that you can do with the objects is there is a headgear section. Uh, now the headgear has a whole bunch of uh, different accessories that you can put on the characters. Uh, so we'll try a few. Uh, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add some headphones on and I'm going to put them on the girl here. Um, there we go. Now 
we found that the character exists on other scenes. Do you want to add the prop on all of them? In this case, I actually want the headphones on her at all times. So I'm going to click on yes, add to all, and then it will be in every single frame. Uh, and then we'll give the principal a uh, cool uh, hat of some sort. Maybe I'll, I'll drop this one on him. There we go. And I will add to all as well. Uh, so we've got that put on him. Uh, and then in the other section, uh, you can see that there are some of the background items. Um, so, I mean, use these as you want. All, all I'm going to do is maybe in one of the frames here, I'm going to put the mouse uh, running across the bottom. Um, so if I put the mouse in, uh, you can see it's not exactly where I want it to show up. So I'm going to try and catch it. Uh, come on, mouse. Okay, so I'm going to move the mouse to the bottom of the frame right here. And then it'll run out. But I probably want the bench in front of this. So uh, I'm going to click on the bench and I'm going to bring that as forward as I can. Okay. Uh, so let's take a look at the preview. Um, okay, we get the principal walking up, calculator, and then drops it again. Now uh, the other issue here is that I have the the mouse repeating in this. Uh, what I can do is if I want I can shorten the duration of this uh, and hopefully get it to a point where the mouse is not uh, a repeating animation because I don't want a whole bunch of mice running through. So it looks like I probably have to shorten that to one second. Uh, but those are the basics of working with objects. I mean, you could do other fairly useful things like sliding background objects around. Uh, but you want to be very careful when you're adding an object to a character, whether you want to put it on just the frame that we currently see or on all frames that the character exists on.